Breast cancer is a disease in which certain cells in breast tissue grow uncontrollably. A tumor, which may or may not be felt as a lump, can result. If undetected, cancer may spread to other areas of the body. With the exception of skin cancer, breast cancer is the most common cancer among women. It is estimated that one in eight women in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. Although advances in treatment have greatly improved survival, it is still the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths among women behind lung cancer. Other than feeling a lump, there are few signs that breast cancer is developing, so it is important to know about the disease, risk factors, and how to screen for it. Following your doctor's screening recommendations can help detect breast cancer in early stages before it has spread beyond the breast, allowing more options for successful treatment. Knowledge of breast anatomy can help you to understand where breast cancer originates and how it spreads. The breasts are comprised of several types of tissues. Fatty tissue creates shape. Connective tissue and suspensory ligaments provide support, while glandular tissue and milk ducts function during milk production. The mammary glands are divided into units called lobes, and each lobe is comprised of many smaller bulb-shaped lobules that can produce milk. Milk ducts connect the lobules to the nipple, where the milk exits when a woman is lactating. A network of blood vessels supplies blood to the breast, providing cells with oxygen and nutrients. Lymph, a fluid that surrounds the cells and helps eliminate cellular waste and fight infection, also circulates through the breasts. Lymph is transported from the breasts through a series of lymph vessels that lead to tiny filtering organs known as lymph nodes. Lymph nodes that drain the breast tissues are found in clusters in the underarm region and near the collarbone. They are important in understanding breast cancer because lymph nodes are some of the first sites where cancer spreads, and like blood vessels, they can serve as conduits through which cancer cells can travel to other areas of the body. Breast cancer, like all cancers, results from changes called mutations in a cell's genetic material, DNA that lead to unregulated cell growth and division. Instead of a normal process where cells grow, divide, and die off when they become old or damaged, cells with certain types of mutations behave abnormally. Rather than dying off when they should, they keep multiplying. The excessive growth can form masses known as tumors, which can be either benign or malignant. Benign tumors generally grow slower than malignant tumors. They have more normal characteristics and tend not to invade other tissues. Since benign tumors don't spread, they are not considered cancerous. Malignant tumors are cancer. These tumors are characterized by cells with uncontrolled rapid growth and division that can spread from the tumor site and invade and harm other tissues. Breast cancer, also known as carcinoma, is a general term for various types of malignant tumors that originate in the breast. There are two main types of breast cancer. The most common form starts in the ducts and is called ductal carcinoma. The second type is known as lobular carcinoma since it begins in the lobules. When malignant cells form in ducts or lobules but have not invaded the surrounding tissue, the tumors are referred to as non-invasive tumors. These masses are also called carcinoma in situ, a name that refers to a Latin phrase that means in position. Lobular carcinoma in situ is often referred to as LCIS or lobular neoplasia. Although LCIS has the word carcinoma in it, it has a low risk of progressing to invasive disease. It's commonly thought of as a risk factor for developing breast cancer, and the risk can be in either breast. Ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIS, carries a much higher risk and, if untreated, could become an invasive form of cancer. A rare form of DCIS called Paget's disease involves the ductal tissue beneath the nipple and areola. Invasive breast cancers spread from their origin into other breast tissue and possibly to other parts of the body. About 80% of invasive breast cancers start in the ducts and are therefore called invasive ductal carcinomas, IDC. Invasive cancer that starts in the lobules, called invasive lobular carcinomas, ILC, account for around 10 to 15% of invasive breast cancer. Less common forms of breast cancer include tumors that are a mix of both invasive ductal and lobular carcinomas. Inflammatory breast cancer, IBC, in which cancer has invaded the skin covering the breast, 
and rare tumors that originate in the breast's connective tissues called sarcomas. If the cancer has metastasized, a term that means it has spread beyond the breast, it is referred to as metastatic breast cancer. In addition to cancer cell type, breast cancers are often characterized by stage. This staging system for breast cancer helps identify patients who have cancers that behave in a similar fashion. The most common staging system is the TNM classification. The T value correlates to the size of the tumor. The N value describes if the tumor has spread to the lymph nodes and the number of positive nodes. The M value describes whether the tumor has metastasized. The combination of T and M values are used to assign a stage from 0 to 4 to the cancer. For example, a stage 1 tumor might be a small tumor without lymph node involvement that is confined to the breast whereas stage 4 is aggressive metastatic breast cancer that has spread to other areas of the body. Certain factors may increase the risk of developing breast cancer. Gender is the primary risk factor. Breast cancer occurs in women at about 100 times the rate it occurs in men. The chance of developing breast cancer increases with age, previous breast cancer, a family history of breast cancer, and specific gene mutations that increase the risk for both breast and ovarian cancers. Women who are Caucasian are diagnosed more often than other ethnicities. Those who started menstruation early, went through menopause late, had their first child after age 30, or never had children are at increased risk. Actions believed to have preventative benefits include maintaining a healthy weight for your body size, getting plenty of physical activity, and avoiding drinking alcohol in excess. Some people with many risk factors never develop cancer, while others with few or no risk factors do. The majority of breast cancer patients have no or few risk factors other than being female and over 55 years of age. There is no definite way to prevent breast cancer, and if you have been diagnosed, it's important to remember that it's nobody's fault. The most important factor for improving outcomes is to discover and treat breast cancer early. Breast cancer often causes no symptoms, and even the sensation of pain is uncommon. There are, however, potential signs that may possibly indicate breast cancer. These signs include a lump or thickening in the breast, changes in breast shape, size, or skin characteristics, a scaly rash in the areola, dimpling or puckering of the breast or nipple, or a clear or bloody discharge from the nipple. Keep in mind that other conditions may have similar signs, so it is recommended that you visit a doctor if you notice any changes to your breast. Tests used to detect and diagnose cancer include physical breast exams, various imaging tests such as mammograms and ultrasound, and microscopic examinations of cell samples. If cancer is found, a treatment plan will be recommended based on the type of cancer, stage, cell characteristics, and individual patient health conditions and preferences. Potential treatments include surgery to remove the tumor and surrounding normal tissue, surgery to remove the entire breast, radiation therapy to eliminate cancer cells, intravenous chemotherapy medications that destroy cancer that may have spread beyond the breast, hormonal medications that block the effects of hormones on cancer cells, and immunotherapy treatments that specifically target cancer cells. Clinical trials are also underway to test new or improved therapies to fight cancer. Treatments we use today may change in the future as we learn even more about breast cancer and how to manage it. If you are diagnosed with breast cancer, seek treatment as early as possible. Early diagnosis and improvements in treatment have greatly improved survival, and the majority of patients who are diagnosed and treated before the tumor has had a chance to spread will live a normal lifespan.